For both of you, I mean, I don't know if you saw Coach's vertical at the end of the game. Looked like he was, you know, maybe a foot off the ground. Uh, he says it's just one game, but you could tell us honestly, it's it's more than just one game in the season for him, isn't it? I mean, uh, it is just one game. You know, it's a rival game. Of course, you know, we're gonna take it probably maybe a little bit more serious because you know, us being seniors, we haven't beaten UGA since we've been here. So, you know, that was one of the things. You know, coming to the season, you know, our goal for it was to beat UGA. And, you know, we accomplished that. So, you know, kudos to the team, the coaches, and, you know, the OJ Nation. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, it's, it's an exciting win. You know, last year we kind of felt like uh, we had them where we wanted them, and uh, we let them out. So, yeah, this year it was, it was special, especially for uh, the seniors. You guys got a lot of work today between you, I think, 42 carries and 234 yards or something like that. Uh, that was uh, quite a performance in the second half what did you and it was mostly in that part of the game kind of what happened in the second half I mean there's the guys up front you know we were able to get good push on them all all game coach uh, said you know uh, they think they're bigger than you go out there and uh, show them they're not and uh, I think we I think we uh, established that today. yeah we just went out there you know got behind our pads and behind you know, a great offensive line that we've had all year you know followed them did you guys feel the way the game was going and the way you were dominating in the second half and you're going to find a way to win that game? Yes, yes. definitely. Uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, definitely. You know, we felt like it was going to be, you know, that kind of game, just pounding the ball. And, you know, Nick Chubb did a great job running the ball, too, and some of the other running backs. But, you know, me and Zach, we felt like, you know, we'd be able to take over the game. We'd you know, just keep getting into the ball. And more and more, we'd start working on the defense. Jack, in that second half, could you feel them wearing down that you guys were gaining <laughs> the edge a little bit? Uh, definitely. You know, uh, you know, we turned the ball over. I came, talked to all the guys, and said, you know, we're going to go out. We just moved the ball. I, mean, I think we started on like the 15, drove it all the way down. I said, like, we're going to go out there. We're going to do it again. And uh, you know, the guys accepted the challenge and came out, and we just kept doing it. Where were you guys on the field goal? Was that the end? What were you watching? What were you thinking? Uh, it was, I was with Dion and Charles Perkins. We were praying. And then we looked up, and uh, I couldn't, honestly, I couldn't tell if he made it or not. But everyone started screaming, so I was like, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, sitting uh, up right near the 50 uh, McDonald's with some of the guys on the team. and I couldn't tell if it went in either, but I saw the, I saw some, uh, some tech fans near the end zone going nuts, so I figured it was good. <laughs> Zach, with that momentum, did you feel like it was better to have the ball first in overtime? Um, you know, I mean, I didn't necessarily care whether whether we had the ball or, or not, but uh, I felt like once we went down there and scored like that, we definitely established, you know, uh, we're just going to come at you. And I know it helped probably helped the defense out, and know that they they could give up a touchdown even though we uh, had some miscues on the special teams. But what what was it like to play in a game with so many swings like that, where it's going back and forth? Um, I mean, it's just like a regular football game. You just got to learn from it. And you got to have a short memory. Coach uh, Johnson actually came up to me and when I fumbled the ball, but I recovered it. He was like, just got to have amnesia, just got to forget about it and uh, keep going to the next play. And that's what I feel like, you know, our team, you know, this whole season felt like, you know, we had two back-to-back -back losses. You know, we, we didn't feel down about ourselves. We felt like we'd come back and, you know, win the rest of our games, which we have done. And uh, that just shows the resiliency, you know, of our team. The two guys that grew up in Georgia, Washington's rivalry from high school, to now winning in this game. Do you think it'll be a while before it sets in? The magnitude of beating your state rivals? Um, you know, I mean, yeah, it's gonna it's, it's gonna be it's gonna take a second to set in, but you know, honestly, I feel like uh, we we've had the opportunity to beat them almost every year, so uh, it just feels special. I'm glad I get to get it with uh, my my senior uh, teammates, and I'm gonna just go out and enjoy this tonight, and then uh, flush it tomorrow and focus on Florida State. Zach, can you describe the touchdown in overtime? Looks like a triple option play to, to the right. Uh, no, it was an automatic handoff. Okay. What you just said, just get on your pads and get in. Worked out. Looks like Shaq could have cleared the way for you pretty good. In oh yeah, I mean the guys up front, they were they were getting a, a yard or two push every play. So I mean yeah, I could fall forward for two yards. You can watch the Florida State game. You can watch Florida State game. Yes, yes, you will. <laughs> 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 what kind of thing means to the program to, to be a here in state rival that gets off the top of the season? I mean, anytime you win against a rivalry, whether you won it last year or you know you haven't won in numerous years like we have, but um, you know 
it's just, I'm really kind of still speechless about the whole thing. Uh, you know, just very excited, glad, you know, like Lasky said, just spending with my seniors, you know, our last time playing we did, beating them, so it's great. You guys have beaten everybody that you've played pretty much now as a senior class in the league and now, you know, in permanent rivalries. How important will the game next Saturday be? Because it's the one game you guys have lost that you haven't had a chance to avenge yet. I mean, it means everything. You know, uh, we win that, uh, you know, with the college football playoffs, anything could happen, you know. I mean, it's a, it's a outside shot, but we're, we're preparing to play multiple games. Zach, you haven't had a chance to contribute as much in the last half of the season. What did it mean to you to, to really play such a key role today? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I mean, it was an emotional role for sure. That, I mean, yeah, you know, uh, one second, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like almost about to cry in tears of, of uh, being angered, and the next second, we kick the field goal and we get it. I'm about to be in tears and for joy. So uh, it was an emotional roller coaster, but uh, today I'll never forget. Yeah, um, I mean, last time I remember being probably this loud was when probably my um, freshman year came up here and came up here and came up We lost that game. I mean, every stadium was loud. You got to block it out and you know, just focus on the job. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. It was, it was awesome. It was a great atmosphere. You know, uh, when we're standing over on the sidelines and, I mean, their fans are screaming, screaming stuff at us. I love that. I don't think they understand it gets us fired up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, fellas. Thanks, guys.